Hello and welcome to this short presentation and demo of the NetSuite Warranty and Repairs Management Overview. The NetSuite Warranty and Repairs Management Bundle is available to, as a suite app that's installed in your NetSuite account. The suite app is shared when you have the Advanced Inventory Module, which is a prerequisite to use this bundle. Some of the features, the main features of the Warranty and Repairs Management Bundle are the ability to, to provide multiple ways to register a warranty. The warranty registration record is actually a new record that's supplied by this bundle and it can be generated either auto generated from an invoice, manually generated, or it can be generated via import. It also provides the ability to set up default settings on each item record to define warranty information such as warranty term. And it also provides a lot of new functionality around claims validation and processing. So including the creation of a claim from a warranty registration, validating that claim against registration, or the ability to, to produce a refund, repair, or replacement for, that, for a warranty item, uh, create a return authorization for a warranty item, as well as create a credit memo if it's a refund or a sales order in the event that there's a replacement repair for a claim from a return authorization record. In the demo portion, I'm going to provide a demo around two different scenarios. The first one is going to be warranty claim involving the return and replacement of a faulty inventory item. Secondly, we're going to do a warranty claim involving the return and repair of a faulty serialized assembly item. Now one thing to note, we did mention that there is the ability to process a refund through the warranty and repair management bundle, uh, but that will not be part of this demonstration. So for these two demos, what I've done is I've staged a couple of sales orders that have already been fulfilled. For the first one, we're going to create the invoice, which will auto-generate a warranty registration for an iPad that was purchased. And then we're going to assume that the customer received that iPad with the screen that was cracked upon receipt. So we're going to initiate a return for replacement using a warranty, the Warranty and Repairs Management Bundle functionality in NetSuite. And to do that, I'm going to switch over and get into NetSuite in, a, in a, an accounting role. So I'm in an accounting role and accounting dashboard. I'm going to access these, these orders through the sales orders to invoice. And we're going to process this invoice right here. So let's take a look at the order first. And we'll see that the order is for a single iPad that was purchased and it's been fulfilled. So we're going to go ahead and invoice this sales order. So now we're going to create the invoice. As we see, some default information has come in from the item record supporting warranty and repair, such as the fact the ability to auto-register the warranty, the warranty term that's been specified on the item record, and the expected warranty expiration date. So let's go ahead and save the invoice. And the warranty repairs functionality then is going to auto-generate a repair, reg a, a warranty registration. Now that we've saved the invoice, I now have access to view the warranty registration that's been generated by this bundle. So we see here we have a registration number, the term, start date, end date, and the status. Now let's assume that the customer receives the order. They notice that the iPad has a, a cracked screen and they call in and they want to issue a return and a get a replacement. When we send the invoice to the customer, we can supply them with their registration numbers as well. So when they call in, they can actually just tell the CSR what their registration number is and they'll be able to process that claim. So for this, let's go switch over now to a customer service role. And as the client calls in and gives a registration number, CSR simply places that number in the, in the global search and pulls up the existing warranty registration. Now, as we see, the warranty registration forms, form allows me to create a claim directly from, the, from this form. So we're going to go ahead and do that. In this case, the claim is going to be for a replacement, a return or replacement of the broken iPad. So this warranty claim is using standard case management functionality with some added fields. 
So we're going to put in that it's a, a problem, and we'll put in that it's broken. broken screen. And then we can put in some warranty specific information. Failure reason might be a new defect and the action is to provide a replacement for them. That's going to now drive the functionality going forward as to how we process this claim. Let's go ahead and save the warranty claim. And we'll review the claim. Now the Warranty Repairs Management Bundle is going to provide me with a Create RMA button to help facilitate the easy return of the broken item and then the replacement of that. So it automatically adds my iPad to my RMA. In this case, I'm going to go and say we're going to, we're going to ha have it received into a damaged good repair location. And we'll go ahead and save that RMA and we can save and then communicate the RMA number to the customer. The customer can then ship the item back and then it will be received in our warehouse. We've now processed the RMA. Let's switch over to a warehouse role. And we'll receive in that broken iPad. Here we have my return authorizations to receive reminder that I can go into and easily view the RMA in question, which is going to be this RMA for Smith Supplies. And we can then receive it into our damaged good location. We'll choose to restock it into our location and then deal with that later and bring that in. Now that we have a completed return of that faulty item, customer service rep can then go ahead and process that, the remainder of the replacement for this RMA. So we'll go back into the RMA that we processed earlier, the return, and now the warranty and repairs bundle will, will add a create sales order button that I can utilize. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a sales order. In this case, it's going to be a replacement sales order. For, that I, for an iPad that's in inventory currently. So now we'll generate the sales order for the replacement item, replacement iPad. By creating my replacement sales order, that automatically is going to close out the re initial return authorization. Then from the warehouse, operations role, we can go ahead and fulfill that order for the replacement. So now we'll fulfill the one replacement iPad. And this will then queue up for our accounting department to create a zero dollar invoice since this is a return and a replacement item at no cost. So by saving this invoice, it's going to close out the return and replacement process will have zero impact on the customer from an invoicing standpoint, dollar standpoint, and it'll also generate then another warranty registration for the replacement item that we sent them. So as we saw, the warranty and repairs management bundle streamlined the process of providing a replacement item for this customer in an accurate and timely manner, which will increase the client's overall satisfaction. Now onto our second scenario, demo scenario, we're going to assume that we sold the customer three assembled and serialized servers from inventory and the customer is now having issues with one of them. Rather than having them send back the server, send them replacement though, in this case we're going to assume that we're going to actually repair the server and send it back to them in a refurbished manner. So let's initiate this the same way. Let's go into our sales orders to invoice. And we're going to process this sales order right here. So let's go ahead and generate an invoice for this. And 
As we see, we have a quantity of three. This is a serialized item. And we are pulling in the default, again, the default warranty terms from the item. Let's go ahead and save the invoice and generate the warranty registrations. So here we see the warranty registrations created. The difference between this scenario is that because these are serialized, it generated three unique registration numbers. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of those and use that for our return and repair. So similar to the prior example, we'll go into our customer service role. We'll bring up that warranty registration. And we'll go ahead and create a claim. In this case, we're going to say it's going to be a, a problem. It's going to be faulty server. And the failure reason is going to be, we'll say again, new defective. And we're doing a repair this time, not a replacement. Let's go ahead and generate that claim. From the claim, then, we can now initiate an RMA for return. We'll bring this back into our damaged goods location and repair location. And let's go ahead and save that return. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go to our customer service, or sorry, our warehouse operations role. We're going to receive in that faulty server. Let's go access that RMA and then create that receipt. We receive that one serialized item back into a repair location. And then we can work on the actual repair of that item. Now that we receive these goods, get this item back into the repair warehouse or repair location, customer service can then go ahead and initiate a repair sales order. Here's our RMA. From that RMA, then the bundle will allow us to easily generate, in this case, going to be a repair sales order. So now we see here that the, the bundle has logic that says it's going to actually add a refurbished item to the repair sales order. And we're going to create that refurbished item using a work order. So we can auto-generate the creation of the repair work order to then create this new refurbished item. So by saving the sales order, it's going to auto-generate not just the sales order, but also a repair work order. So we see here the sales order generated and the associated work order. Now somebody in the repairs department can go in and they can access that work order and begin building that and repairing that item. And we can utilize the work orders to build reminder to view those type of repair orders that are in the queue. I can now edit the work order. So now in my repair work order, I'll see the original server that's now going to be a component of my refurbished assembled repaired item. In this case, I can go ahead and if, if, if I'm going to rebuild this or refurbish this, I might, it might take some inventory parts for me to do so. So I can pull in, say, a repair part. Maybe a quantity of one is needed for that one and another repair part. And maybe this needs two. 
So now I can consume these from my repair inventory, building up the refurbished item and building up the true cost to my company of then sending back this repaired item to my customer. Let's go ahead and save the work order. And now I'll build the work order so I can have this in inventory so, we can ready, so it's ready to be shipped to our customer. Now we'll save the assembly build. And that'll now be in inventory so that we can ship that item to our customer. Now, now the warehouse can fulfill the repair order for the refurbished item. And that'll then prompt the accounting department to create that $0 invoice again for the repair invoice as we saw in the prior the prior scenario so now the customer has their repaired server in their hands so let's recap some of the some of the benefits that we reviewed and demonstrated of this warranty repairs management bundle First off, it automatically creates warranty registrations when invoices are created, which is going to expedite the process and ensure accuracy of warranty terms. We saw that it generates new workflow buttons that can direct users to the next steps in the warranty management process. It also leverages native customer support case records with custom warranty fields for ease of use with warranty claims. And lastly, most importantly, it creates a great client experience with regard to refunds, replacements, and repairs, ensuring future customer revenue. Thank you very much for your time today.